SpaceX copies. Visor is closed and secured, and Dragon Crew is go for undock. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, undock sequence commanded. Dragon copies. And we just got confirmation that that undock, that that undock sequence has been sent, and the umbilicals are now retracting. And we are currently in a handover period between satellites which is why we don't currently have live views of Dragon from Space Station. All hooks now open and nominal. And Dragon Grace has... Dragon separation confirmed. And Dragon Grace has officially undocked from the International Space Station at 6.15 a.m. Central, 7.15 a.m. Eastern, as the orbiting laboratory was flying 260 statute miles over the east coast of India. The Axiom Mission 4 crew comprised of Peggy Woodson, Shubanshu Shukla, Swabosh Uznainsky Vishnevsky, and Tibor Kampu have completed their 18-day stay aboard the International Space Station. And we just had confirmation there that that second departure burn, known as Depart Burn 1, has completed, and it was executed as expected. The crew is now going to start doffing or removing their spacesuits and getting settled in for their 22 and a half hour journey back to Earth again with that splashdown targeted for tomorrow morning, July 15th, off the coast of California. Dragon is now about 195 meters away from the International Space Station and should be crossing the keep out sphere momentarily. Going into Dragon is Axiom Mission 4 pilot Shubanshu Shukla. And there on your screen now, you can see Axiom Mission 4 Mission Specialist Swabosh Uznainsky Vishnevsky. And closest to the camera there is the other Axiom Mission 4 Mission Specialist Tibor Kapu. So the two that are seated and already in their suits are Axiom Mission 4 Pilot Shubanshu Shukla. And then next to him is the Axiom Mission 4 Commander Peggy Woodson. Have, uh, the hatch seal for the uh, Dragon forward hatch has quite a bit of dust on it, so we're going to uh, use the vacuum cleaner and clean it real quick. Just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Yes, we have uh, Lyle is installed at 9.04, and the hatch is going closed now. I'll call you when it's complete. As well as the International Space Station, and the Dragon crew can communicate on during the undocking and departure activities. Again, just like its approach to the International Space Station, Dragon's departure and deorbit is designed to be fully autonomous, requiring no action from the crew on board. Following today's departure, this will set Dragon and the Axiom Mission 4 crew up for a splashdown off the coast of California tomorrow, July 15th, around 4.31 a.m. Central, 5.31 a.m. Eastern. Speaking of live views, <laughs> excellent inside of Dragon with our commander and pilot there. That is uh, at the front of your screen is Commander Peggy Whitson. And if you're looking right past Peggy Whitson as well, you can see our pilot Shubanshu Shukla. Uh, interacting with, uh, with Dragon's controls there right now. And we are now seeing great confirmations of the Dragon spacecraft making its return back to Earth right now. Dragon, we have you the same. Expect automated chute deployment. Dragon copies, automated chute deploy. 
um, for entry and landing. And excellent view. Great view. Drogue parachutes are deployed. You looking forward? Drogue descent rate nominal. And a, at night. Six, six, Dragon 800. Copy, 800 meters. Commander Peggy Whitson confirming the spacecraft's altitude as it's making its descent into the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of San Diego in Southern California. A little foggy, as you can see there. Yeah, Pacific fog um, is rolling in. <laughs> we've got some very bright lights uh, as Dragon, uh, you can see the ocean there. Dragon is about to touch down in just a few seconds here. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Um, at this point, we'll be waiting for, uh, for confirmation of, of the crew's um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of, the, of this mission, which are really, let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point, we'll be covering. And we have splashdown of the AX-4 crew back on planet Earth. Welcome home. I can splash down. Uh, we are in stable one. SpaceX copies splash down in stable one. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. The thrusters that did not fire to make sure that there are no uh, leaks from those thrusters. We do have Super Dracos on the vehicle. Uh, great fleet of Dragon spacecraft. Um, and speaking of Commander Peggy Whitson, She's actually our third frequent flyer. Yeah. Our first frequent flyer was Michael Lopez Alegria yeah. from Axiom Space. Yeah. Second being Jared Isaacman when he flew on the Polaris Dawn mission. And now Peggy Whitson flying for a second time on a Dragon spacecraft. Uh, at SpaceX, we're trying to make these vehicles reusable, just like aircraft when you fly mm -hmm. and fly over again multiple times a day. And we're getting closer and closer to that with the same crew members exactly. flying again, exactly. which is awesome. California, a little under 30 minutes ago, and we are now in the... Dragon SpaceX, rigging is complete. Stand by for capsule lift. Dragon copies. Dragon SpaceX, capsule lift in progress, brace. Good verbal confirmations there and visual confirmations that we're getting a successful lift. Dragon copy. And again, those comms, the crew can't see what's happening outside right. of the spacecraft, so letting the crew know what's happening so they understand, you know, the vehicle moving, exactly. what, it, what those different feelings are with the spacecraft moving around. Right. Trying, to, trying to give crew some level of situational awareness of where they are and where they're going next. Um, so Dragon will remain in the nest during the crew extraction uh, and for the journey back into port. Um, the spacecraft is currently being, or was just lifted as you saw and set on the nest. Uh, and from here it'll be centered and oriented. Uh, and then from there, Dragon will be translated into the hangar underneath the helipad aboard the ship so that we can then open the hatch. And once open, a SpaceX medical doctor will be the first one in to check on the crew to see if they are ready to egress out of the vehicle. Uh, and as we noted earlier, Axiom medical teams are also on the recovery vessel working in tandem with SpaceX staff to assess and assist the crew. The astronauts will egress or what we call exit from Dragon's side hatch pending spacecraft orientation uh, in, in the water before opening the hatch. The spacecraft's cabin pressure must be equalized with the outside environment. Now, once the hatch is opened, that will be the Axiom 4 crew's first breath of fresh air since boarding Falcon 9 at the start. Get out of their seats while they are exiting the vehicle. Now getting some great internal views of the AX-4 crew yes. in their spacecraft. <laughs> uh, there's a complex tool that you mentioned earlier, Jesse, about uh, protecting the seals. We can see now crew looking to make the first crew members looking to make their egress from the spacecraft along that slide. Sliding out. <laughs> and 
and there she is. We see Commander Peggy Whitson, all smiles, exiting the spacecraft grace. That is a beautiful sight. Peggy Whitson, the AX4 commander, is home. And we've got our pilot, Shubanshu Shukla, as our second crew member exiting the spacecraft. And some big smiles, as you said. We have our third crew member now egressing the vehicle. And there is Swavos Uznanski Wisniewski of Poland. Swav is all smiles for this, <laughs> which I love to see. Now, Poland's participation in the AX4 mission through the IGNIS program marked a pivotal step in the country's growing role in space exploration. Astronaut Swavos Uznanski Wisniewski, flying in partnership with the mission specialist Tibor Kapu. Hungary marked a significant milestone in its space ambitions with the AX4 mission as astronaut Tibor Kapu became the first Hungarian to reach the International Space Station and all smiles from him there. His participation under the banner of the Hunor Hungarian to Orbit program represents Hungary's commitment to advancing its role in international space exploration 